annoying, isn't it? You're maybe out, you've perhaps got a weak 3G signal, trying to find some information on your phone and it won't load and you just simply cannot use the site on your mobile phone. We've been in a situation for a while now where over 50% of traffic on your website comes from mobile devices. And in some cases that can be up to 80% depending on what industry you're in. So it's therefore really, really important that your website is optimized for mobile devices and can be used really, really easily, whether someone's on their mobile, out and about, or on a tablet, or any other device that they want to use that isn't sitting at their computer. This is really, really important and particularly important for people that are already spending money on marketing because with over 50% of people going to your website on their mobile phone, if you're sending them there, spending money on marketing, you want them to have a good experience. If you send someone to your website on their mobile device and say it doesn't load quickly enough or they can't use it properly, you've lost that customer and you've spent money on marketing to get them there in the first place. But do not fret, that is what this video is for. We are going to go through some main points to help you optimize your site for mobile devices and help keep people on there when they're browsing on their phones. This will not only help your Google rankings, but it will also help keep people on your website, buying your products and getting in touch with you. So let's go through the main points for a perfect mobile optimized website. Point number one, responsiveness. So essentially this is your website's ability to change its shape and design to fit different screen sizes. Now in the past what used to be done is you would have a site created for desktop devices and then your website designer would create another site for mobile devices. Now what will happen is we create a fully responsive website. So your website designer or you can create this as well using a template design. It will change its shape and its design and its layout completely automatically depending on what screen size it's being viewed on. This means that no matter what screen size they're using, whether they're on an iPhone, an Android device, a tablet, your site will look perfect and look like it's been designed for that screen size. Point number two, loading speeds. This is really important for any website whether you're doing it for desktop or tablet, but it's really, really important for mobile. Not everyone has 4G, and even when we do have 4G, sometimes it doesn't work. It may be that they are on a weaker connection, they don't have Wi-Fi, and they're just using their phone signal. It is critical at these points that your site loads quickly, quickly, quickly. In most cases, if your site does not load within four seconds, that person is gone. This can cause a lot of users to simply give up and try another website instead. Perhaps your competition, not something you want to happen when you're trying to stand out from the crowd. Usually the largest files on websites are images, so simply compressing image size can help save a lot of loading time and it can really speed up how quickly your pages load. It's actually estimated by Google that simply cutting one second off from your loading speeds can help increase your conversion rate on your website by up to 27%. I mean, that is huge. Point three, call to action. You want to make it as easy as possible for your potential customers to get in touch with you. So whether you want them to buy a product, contact you, give you a call, this call to action needs to be present on every single page. So rather than try and get someone to go through with another process, go to your contact page, then get in touch with you, put the call to action on that page and make sure that every single page of your mobile site has some way for that person to either get in touch with you or take a look at your products. Imagine someone comes to your site, that's the beginning of the chain. The end goal is to get them to get in touch with you. And you have steps in the process to get to that point. The more steps you can take out of that process, the shorter this is gonna be. So you want the point from them coming to your website to getting in touch with you to be as short as possible. If there is a call to action on every single page, you're taking out all the points in the middle and making it much more easier and much more likely that that person is going to convert and become a customer. 
particularly on mobile sites when people might not have decent signal, they might not have Wi-Fi, they don't want to keep on having to load individual pages in order to get to the final result. Point four, user experience. And this is really, really important. It used to be in the past that sites were ranked by Google and other search engines by how well the site was made. This has now changed. Of course, it's really important to have a well-made site, but what's more important is making sure that the user experience is top-notch. The things that I want you to look at on your websites, particularly when on mobile, is text size, the size of buttons if people are pressing to call you or go to another page or take action. Can they get to any page on your website from any other page within three clicks? That includes clicking on a drop down menu. And what is the flow like on your site? Is it easy to navigate? Is it easy for someone to use? This is now what search engines look at when they're deciding if your site is decent or not. On mobile devices, it's even more important. You don't want to have tiny bits of text that people can't read, links that are too close together so they click on one and it accidentally clicks on the other. Making it as simple and easy as possible to view the information on a small screen. That's what you need to look at. So let's review the four points which I know you're going to go away and adjust your sites to make sure they follow all of these ones perfectly. First up, we've got responsiveness. I want to make sure that your mobile sites are changing size perfectly to fit design on any screen size. Second of all, we have loading speeds. I want to see your sites loading within four seconds, okay? Four second rule, it's got to be below. Compress your images, compress your code, and make sure that site is as small as it could possibly be without sacrificing quality. Third up, we have got call to action. I want to make sure that someone can get in touch with you or look at a product or do something that you want that person to do. What's the end goal? Make sure they can do that from every single page. And finally, we have got user experience. Use your site, get your friends to use your site. Is it easy to navigate? Can they get to any page from any other page? So guys, those are your main points for creating a perfect mobile optimized site. We could of course talk about this for days and days, but hopefully that will give you a little bit of an insight in how to change your sites and start making them perfect for mobile devices. As always, if you have any further questions, please tweet us or email us or send us a carrier pigeon and we will get back to you with some answers and help you as best we can. Thank you.